Anyway, hi, Lori here uh, on Vancouver Island, and I'm back in the studio today. I've been out of the studio for quite a while. I don't think I've painted, gosh, it's probably been a week or so anyway, um, or longer even. Gosh, when it when summer comes along and I'm outside a lot more, I just, there's so many other things going on that I don't get a lot of time in my craft room. And that's not just because of painting, it's because that's just the way that I am, right? Like, I do a lot in my craft room in the wintertime because it's, I don't like the rain. <laughs> I don't like the rain, I don't like the cold, so when it's rainy and cold outside, I stay in. And when I stay in, I do a lot more crafts, but... When I'm outside and I'm gardening and and I'm um, like I'm doing a bunch of dehydrating right now and I'm just learning how to can, um, so all of those things that are that are kind of going on in my world right now and then of course there's work too right I mean I do still only have the one client that I'm working for so you know I really only work ten or eleven hours a week. But uh, I have been, has allowed me to spend a lot more time on my YouTube channel than I normally would. But I haven't been in the studio. So my friend Gay um, from uh, Popular Pouring Fluid Art, and I will leave her link down there in the bottom. She did a, what the heck did she call it? A bomb? She called it a Jaeger bomb. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever had a Jaeger bomb, but they taste horrible, <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, or to me, I guess we all have different tastes, right? So, anyway, yeah, Jaeger bombs, not my thing. Um, but this looked like so much fun. So, what she's doing is she's taking um, a cup of paint and she's putting a smaller cup of paint inside that, and then she's flipping both of them at the same time. Um, and I believe she's using different colors in each cup, or similar colors, but but different. Um, and I want to try that. That looks like fun. I haven't tried anything new with my painting for a while. Well, I haven't even painted for quite a long time. Uh, I'm a little disheartened by it because, of course, I can't get out and sell anything. Um, I need to go and find a shop that I can consign in or something. If anybody does that with their artwork, um, like how do you, how do you sell your artwork? <laughs> what do you do with it? Like I have my online store and maybe I need to actually remember to mention that once in a while. Um, that would probably be good. So I do have an online store. Um, it's just my name, lorisims.com is my website and it's linked down in the description there. But, um... Anyway, um, I have a record that I'm going to pour on, um, and it's one that I've already poured on, but I don't really like the way it turned out. It's kind of a little lopsided. It's got some, it's got some glitter on it on one side, but it didn't carry over to the other side. And anyway, so I'm going to probably turn it into a bowl, because that's usually what I do when I pour both sides of these. So I'm going to pour the other side of this, and I've, I've taped it off here. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to get my paint ready. I think I need to use a, a, a thicker paint than I usually do. You know, usually, and one of the reasons I do so many Dutch pours is because that's the consistency my paints are mixed at. Um, I made the mistake of pre-mixing a lot of them, and um, I made them too thin. And months later, they're still too thin. I don't know. What can you do? Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to get things set up and I'm going to flip you up to the top camera and um, yeah, let's pour some paint. Uh, it's been too long, so let's have some fun. <laughs> okay, so I have, in this, I have, um, it's about half full or a little more than, a little more than a third full, actually. Um, and then, and it's just blue and green. Um, it was the blue or the green that I just mixed up from sap green and hunter green and, and some other green. And, and then this one here, this is my, um, my hydroxated green chrome oxide. And I've layered that with silver. And so here's how you do the bomb. 
So you take your bigger cup and then you put your smaller cup down in it. And I'm going to push it all the way down to the bottom and it's going to get covered. <laughs> okay, I hope I have enough paint in here. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't done very many flip cups. But uh, so I'm going to do it on this record. And so I'm going to put that down like that. And um, oh, look at I'm making a mess of this too. <laughs> ah, okay. And I'm going to set that. I'm going to just leave this for a couple minutes so that the paint can kind of drip down to the bottom and then we're going to lift it up and <laughs> see what happens. Cross your fingers and it's not hideous. Okay, so it's been sitting for a few minutes and I don't know how fast the paint is going to move. Um, when I lift this up, the paint, like I said, is a little bit thicker than uh, what I normally work with. So, um, anyway, let's give it a shot. Let's, all we're going to do is we're going to lift, try to lift straight up. Oh, and I think my smaller cup <laughs> stuck in my bigger cup. Uh, that's an awful lot of that one green. Let's try and spin this around a little bit. I'm just going to leave it here and we'll come back in about 10 minutes and take another look at it and see what it's done. I'm not minding that it has so many cells because they're not big white cells. Um, you know, that makes me crazy, but there's some blue cells over here and there's some like gray cells over here and some more blue. And here's a dark blue. I'm not sure where that came from. A little bit of that dark blue that, I mean, I do know where it came from. That was the... Uh, uh, my pigment, my blue ultramarine pigment paint that I used the last of. Anyway, let's let this drip for a few minutes and we'll come back and take another look at it. And there she is, all dry. So, <laughs> it's just stunning. I don't know, the light's kind of hitting on that funny, so it's... But yeah, the cells... Are really nice again that that green color will never be my favorite color but some of those teals um, in there really really help oh and look at those look at those little I don't know if they're fractals or what they are coming off the edge of that but that's pretty cool too so overall I enjoyed the technique um, the end result, not 100% to my taste, but it does definitely have some cool little uh, features to it. So, yeah, let me know what you think uh, in the comments. So, I know it's kind of dark behind me, but I think this is actually the best light I can get in here at this time of the day. I've been having some issues, and I was watching in this video, and depending on where my eyes are, 
you can see reflections in my glasses and I'm really, really sorry about that. I've been trying to not stare at myself while I'm doing these and to look at the camera instead and so I kind of miss when I'm going like this or, or whatever and you guys are getting a weird reflection in my glasses. I guess I could always take my glasses off but then I can't really see. <laughs> I mean, I guess I can, kind of. <laughs> or maybe it's good that I can't. <laughs> Do I need to see? I don't know. Anyway, guys, um, hey, uh, I wanted to come on here at the end for anybody who's still actually here listening and tell you this is going up on Friday, June the 12th, and my birthday is on Friday, June the 19th. So one week from today is my birthday, and I am... I think I'm going to go live. Um, I'm tied to my computer going live still, so I'm not 100% sure how that's going to work, but I think I might try it. And I think that what I will do on my live stream is I'm going to pull out and showcase a bunch of my finished pieces of art that I've done, because I really would like to have a compilation of all of them. And so I would love it if you pop in and wish me a happy birthday. I'll try to, this will be the first time that I've ever tried to do this. So um, I will try and keep up with things and chat if there is any, <laughs> if anybody even shows up. I don't know. Anyway, and um, you guys can guess how old I am. Mom, you cannot guess. <laughs> you are not allowed because you were there. Um, anyway, but anyone else can guess, and I'll see it in the comments. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this painting. I hope you had yourself a fantastic day. I hope you have a great weekend. Um, take care of yourself. Bye now. Mm -hmm.